So when it comes to Volkswagen Group engines and the coolant you choose, there seems to be a really dizzying array of different options to choose from. So in this video, we're just going to look at the different types of coolant that you can use in your Volkswagen engine. We're going to be looking at the Volkswagen grades, the G11, the G12, the G12+, Plus, the G12++, Plus Plus, and the G13. And it would be wrong to assume the G13 is the superior one. It really is critical to choose an appropriate one for your vehicle. So we're just going to look at the primary differences between these different grades of Volkswagen coolant and help you choose one that's appropriate for your vehicle. You've noticed that the coolant level in your engine is low and you need to top it up. There's a fatal mistake. There is a fluid that you should never put into your engine. But about 80 or 90 percent of motorists are just putting this fluid into their engine, causing all sorts of problems. But when looking at the massive array of different antifreezes and coolants on offer, it can get really confusing. So this video, we're just going to look at the main types of coolant and just give you the information you need so you can choose an appropriate coolant that's going to work well in your engine and help prolong the life of your engine. So coolant in the engine isn't just there to prevent it freezing. Obviously, you don't want the water inside the engine actually freezing because as water expands, it causes problems within the block. So engine designers have taken this into account. They've got core plugs that will push out and take some of that pressure. But it's still a risk. If your water in the engine freezes, you do risk cracking major components within the engine block. So antifreeze is an essential, but it doesn't just prevent freezing. It also assists the cooling. It resists corrosion inside the engine itself. It can keep the water pump working efficiently by adding a little bit of lubrication to that. Now, the average engine has got many different types of metal. So some use aluminium, others use other alloys or other types of metal. Some engines have even got special coatings in certain parts of the engine. So choosing a coolant with an additive that is not going to interfere with those metals and metal properties is really the aim that you should go for. Now with the Volkswagen Group, things get even more confusing. You've got now the G12, the G12 Plus, the G12 Plus Plus, the G12 Evo, the G13. So what do you use? Does it matter? Can you mix those different types of Volkswagen coolant in your engine? G12 Plus Plus is considered by many to be the best. It contains a silicate additive, which protects the Volkswagen design of engine very well. G13, you would think is better, but it's actually cheaper to manufacture. It's glycerine based. It must be diluted with water. So it's not something you buy and just add to the engine as it is. You need to dilute this concentrated form down. That's probably why a lot of people go for it, just because it is cheaper. It's beneficial to the environment. It's less harmful. It's less toxic. If you mix G12++ and G12++, that can cause gelation or even flocking. And that can impact the silicate stabilizer additive within that that you really do want in your Volkswagen engine. So for modern engines, you're really looking for something that is silicone and phosphate free. Those two components will play havoc on components in the engine, particularly the catalyst and the oxygen sensors. So in most cases, you'll buy a concentrated form of this additive and you'll dilute it in a ratio recommended by the manufacturer of the coolant itself, which is generally a 50-50 ratio, but there are some variations. So check the instructions before you do this. So you should never, ever put tap water into your engine. This contains mineral deposits, which will build up and cause problems inside the engine. You should only use pure water, a filtered water, distilled water or a deionized water. Anything really that doesn't have those mineral deposits would be suitable to go into your car's cooling system. Tap water also has a much lower boiling point than coolant that you have in your engine. So the pressure inside the radiator and the cooling system of the car will build up much more quickly if there is no coolant present or if there's an insufficient level of coolant inside the engine. So in the case of the Volkswagen Group, the G12 has been discontinued. So they've moved on to the G12 Plus and the G12 Plus Plus. There is a lot of confusion out there. So don't rely on gossip in forums as to which is the best. Some people claim that the G13 is best because that is a bigger number. But in reality, the G12++ is G12 
generally the best. It's the most universal. So that is the one that I would generally go to if I didn't have any other information available to me. But you've got your handbook, you've got the manufacturer's recommendations, and you can even consult your local dealer and see what they are recommending. So it's vitally important to choose the right coolant for your engine. It protects the engine, it resists corrosion, and it efficiently allows the engine to transfer heat between the block of the engine and the cooling system, which keeps everything else running smoothly. So never overlook the importance of having the right coolant inside your engine. So I hope this video has been useful to you. Please boot that like button because that really does help us to get out there. I've lined this video up for you that you should find interesting. And if you haven't subscribed yet, please do so. We'd love you to stay tuned. Thanks for watching and I'll see you in this next video.